Hi, my name is Roland Cashel from IT Integrated Business Solutions. And today I'm putting together a mini screencast on how to reset the root password in MySQL. It has been brought to my attention through various forums that this seems to be a recurring issue. Today's presentation is about resetting the root password on a Linux system. Keep tuned for further mini screencast where we will be doing the same thing but on a Windows domain. In changing the root password, there are two possibilities. One, which is a Linux-based solution, or two, which is a more generic solution which works on both Windows and Linux. The first possibility is the Linux solution. What we'll demonstrate in this screencast is finding the process identifier to kill, killing that process, issuing a password change syntax which we'll place into a file, then we launch MySQL server with an initialization file which is going to change that password and then we'll stop and restart the MySQL server. The alternative solution is the generic solution and again this will work on both Windows and on Linux. We'll find the process to kill will kill the process. This is going to be based on, on Linux. Then we're going to start the server with the skip grant tables option. Skip grant tables option basically bypasses the MySQL security so that anybody is able to log in without providing a password. So this should only be used very briefly to make the change of the password and then to stop and restart in normal mode. We're going to issue the update password and we're going to restart the server. Before beginning the process, what I want to do is I want to demonstrate to you that we cannot access the database. So this is pretending we don't know the password, we've lost the password. The password in this case is actually Toto, so that gets us in. But we want to eventually reset that to the password test, which obviously is going to fail. The first step is to find the process. Now, on a Linux system, PS-EF will list off all the processes that are in the background of the operating system and in this case we're issuing a pipe and then a grep with MySQL. The grep MySQL is simply going to filter out and show only those processes that have a MySQL in the username. In this case here it's the second entry that we're looking at the MySQL D which is the MySQL server. The first value, MySQL, is simply the username that is executing this process in the background. The second column, the 29525 in this case, is particularly important because this is known as the process identifier. And it's the process identifier or PID which we need to kill. So we're going to issue the kill On this number. Now, care should be taken when killing a process using the root user on Linux. Root user is the admin user, and with this process, you can kill any, or with this user, you can kill any process on the operating system. You may kill a, a wrong process which could effectively bring your machine down. So you have to take very, very good care that you're killing the right process identifier. Now if we again issue the process listing filtering out MySQL we'll see that they have all been shut down. The next step in this process is to create a file which we're putting into slash TMP 
and we're calling it mysql init.sql. This file contains two commands. One, an update to a table called mysql.user. The mysql is the mysql database and the table name is user. And in here we're setting the password to test only for the user root. We then flush those privileges to make sure that these get written to disk. The next step, very simple, we need to start up the MySQL database in safe mode, making sure that we execute this command, or this file, as the server starts up. So it will execute this file. We're going to put an ampersand at the end so that this gets written to the background. So at this point, the MySQL server is up and running and it has executed the MySQL init.sql file upon startup. If we now attempt to get in with the old password, which was Toto, it has failed. And if we start and try with the password test, which is the new password we've set it to, we are now in as root user. The only thing to do now is to kill the process as we did previously. So in this case, it's 29703. And let's have a look at the list. There are no files, uh, no processes with MySQL running. And we're now simply going to start the database in normal mode and again we'll attempt to access the database with the user test and this works. The second option is to start up the MySQL database removing all security checks. This is something that should be done for a very very brief moment in order to change the root password. Doing this, and I will demonstrate it afterwards, will allow anybody access whether a password is required or not. So let's first of all again show that we don't know the password. The password in this case has been set to Toto. We're in. If we attempt it with the password test, it's failing. So the first step as before is to find the process, filter out MySQL and kill the relevant process identifier, in this case 30234. Again we'll have a look at the process, these are now down. What we now need to do is start up in safe mode, skip grant tables, using the option skip grant tables. When MySQL is started up in this mode, effectively we can get in without providing any password. Even if we type in a password, and the password may be anything, or I may even access using another user, whether a password is defined for that user or not. So it's extremely important that we gain access for a brief moment we shut down the data server and we start up in normal mode. In this case here, what we need to do is we need to issue 
the same command that we had for the initialization of the file update mysql.user set password equal to password which is a function and we're going to change the password to test where the user is equal to root we then flush privileges and now we should have a look at stopping MySQL database server. Let's just verify it is now ended. It's down. And now we will start up in normal mode. Now we're in normal mode if I attempt to access using the old password toto we're denied if I attempt using the test we are in the system I hope you found this video tutorial useful and please visit us at it-iss.com where we have a lot more tutorials, video tutorials um, and text tutorials on MySQL, so please join us there.